Hello family, God bless you. I have a word for someone. God says I should tell you he is not too late and he is never too late. God says he is not too late and he is never too late. This word is coming to someone you've had an issue, you've had challenges that have tarried. They seem like they have been a part of your life forever. You've even lost faith in, in, in believing that God can still intervene, that God can still do something. You've lost the faith. You don't even believe that again because it has been there for so long. God says, I should tell you, he is never too late. He is never too late, even in this situation. God says the problem, the, the, the thing is the situation, this challenge you are going through, it is meant to be for the glory of God. So most often when you have a situation that it is to end up in praise and to end up in glory, God doesn't intervene when you want. Because God wants you to try your best because the tendency is we will try to use the arm of flesh. We will try to do everything possible to solve that problem. And when we get to that point where we give up, that's where God steps in. That's where God says, okay, I've been waiting for you now. Let me step in so that this can be indeed for my glory. We see that in the book of John chapter 11 with Lazarus. The Bible says Lazarus was sick and they, and Martha and Mary, they sent a word to Jesus. Jesus heard the word and waited until he died. Not because he wanted him. When Jesus heard the word, he says, this is not unto death, but this shall be for the glory of God. But yet he waited for, the, for him to die. You know why? Because when the, when the situation now is seemingly dead and there is nothing you can do about it, that's when God steps in because God will not allow his glory to be shared with another. God will not allow his glory to be given to another. So God is not late. He is never late. He is only coming later to make you the latest. God is not late. When it is his time, he makes everything beautiful. That dead situation can still come back to life and it is coming back to life. This is the resurrection season. This is, we are getting into the Easter season. Every dead situation in your life is coming back to life. Starting with this most stubborn one that has tarried long enough. God is bringing it back to life in the name of Jesus. Receive this word with faith and, and rejoice. You will testify. I would love to, to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Shalom.